Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm the lead technical writer at Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can migrate from an on-premises AV RMS cluster to Azure RMS in the cloud, while still enabling the consumption of content previously protected against the AV RMS environment. In this scenario, an organization migrates completely to Azure RMS. AV RMS and Azure RMS operating simultaneously is not a supported scenario at this time. First, let's talk about why an organization might want to move to Azure RMS. Put simply, Azure RMS is the hosted version of ADRMS. Both Azure RMS and ADRMS are built on the same technology, and both provide persistent protection and granular permissions for your most sensitive documents and emails. Azure RMS is hosted as a service by Windows Azure, which means you, as the administrator, do not have to manage, scale, or troubleshoot the infrastructure. Also, using the service ensures the quickest access to new RMS features, which are being developed and released continuously by the Microsoft RMS team. For example, at the time this video was recorded, the RMS for Individuals offering, which enables easy and secure collaboration with external partners, is currently only available for Azure RMS. Departmental templates and the document tracking portal are also currently only available with Azure RMS. Before you decide to migrate to Azure RMS, confirm that your organization meets the minimum requirements, perhaps the most important of which is that your end users must be running Windows 7 or later and using Microsoft Office 2010 or later. There are several supported migration scenarios, depending on how you protected your ADRMS private key upon deployment and how you would like to protect it in Azure RMS. If you partially protected your private key in the RMS configuration database, you can simply upload it to the Azure RMS tenant. You can also transfer the software-based key to a hardware security module and then implement Azure RMS using the BYOK scenario. If you initially protected your private key using a hardware security module, you can migrate to Azure RMS using the BYOK scenario. Any of these permutations are supported. However, in this video, we will focus on migrating a software-based key up to an Azure RMS tenant. If you are interested in how the BYOK scenario works, check out our BYOK video, which walks you through the process of setting up an HSM, generating a key, and securely transferring it to the Microsoft data centers. To migrate from ADRMS to Azure RMS, we will first export the private key from the existing ADRMS deployment using the trusted publishing domain functionality. Then we will connect to Azure RMS and use the import AADRMTPD PowerShell command to import the trusted publishing domain to our specific Azure RMS tenant. Finally, we will redirect our users to use the Azure RMS service instead of the on-premises ADRMS deployment. Going forward, users will protect new content against the new Azure RMS tenant key. Users will use the imported TPD key to consume previously protected content. Before you begin, you should have an existing and configured Azure RMS tenant which has been enabled and your users should be synchronized to Azure Active Directory through Azure AD Sync or Directory Synchronization. Your organization can optionally choose to deploy ADFS for Federation. You should also have an existing ADRMS deployment running Windows Server 2008 or later. If you are still running Windows RMS on Windows Server 2003, you can migrate before the end of support. Then download the Azure Rights Management Administration tool and RMS client configuration scripts from the Microsoft website. Let's start on the ADRMS server, where we need to export the ADRMS private key using the trusted publishing domain functionality. The ADRMS private key is used to decrypt protected content, and access to the private key implies access to any protected document within the organization. Therefore, take special care when exporting and storing the private key. To that end, we will specify a very strong password for this exported file. This process will export the private key as an XML file. Then we'll move to another computer on which I have already installed my prerequisites and I have moved the XML file. I'll open a PowerShell command prompt as an administrator and connect to the Azure RMS tenant using an account with RMS admin permissions. Then I'll use the import AADRM TPD command to upload the TPD to the Azure RMS tenant. Notice the active parameter. This indicates whether this key should be used by Azure RMS to encrypt new content moving forward. 
In my scenario, I want to use my new Microsoft Manage key for new content and only use this key to decrypt previously protected content. The command has uploaded the TPD and the associated rights policy templates. The rights policy templates will be archived by default. If we want to make them available to our end users to use to protect content going forward, we can publish them using the Windows Azure console. Note that you can use the Windows Azure console even if you are using Office 365. And now we need to clean up the client configuration. In this environment, our clients still have certificates issued against the ADRMS private key. They may also have registry settings directing them to use the existing ADRMS cluster. In this scenario, we want our clients to immediately start using Azure RMS. So to complete this process, I would use the scripts downloaded from Microsoft to clear the ADRMS user profile and the RMS-related registry settings that point users to a particular ADRMS cluster. Then we need to add registry entries to direct clients from the ADRMS cluster to the Azure RMS service. Notice the result. The script has cleared my RMS profile. It would also clear out my RMS registry keys. However, I'm not using reg keys here, so it returns an error that the key was not found. We can also perform this task using scripts provided by Microsoft. These scripts can be deployed to your clients using group policy, logon scripts, Microsoft System Center, or a similar process. There's one more script that redirects users to Azure RMS. I've downloaded the script and edited it here to reflect my ADRMS and Azure RMS URLs. Notice the different reg keys that this script will automatically create for the end user. You can see that I've run the command and it is completed successfully. Now we'll use the IRM Diagnostics tool to review the client configuration. This tool returns a wealth of information about the specific client's RMS status and can be very helpful in troubleshooting. Here, I am interested in the overrides we have set up using registry keys. Notice that for activation and licensing, my client is redirected to the URL of my specific Azure RMS tenant. As this user opens previously protected content, he is redirected from the URLs in the document, which point to the ADRMS cluster, to the URLs here in these registry keys, which point to the Azure RMS tenant. Azure RMS decrypts the content using the key we imported and your users can continue to access previously protected content. Now, before we move on, we must delete the service connection point from Active Directory. Otherwise, as users bootstrap after we clear their ADRMS profiles, they will bootstrap against the ADRMS cluster, not the Azure RMS service. Okay, I've just demonstrated how you can migrate from ADRMS to Azure RMS. At this point, your users are ready to begin using Azure RMS for both new and previously protected content. If you have integrated ADRMS with a server-side application such as Exchange Server or SharePoint Server, you must deploy and configure the RMS connector, which is a lightweight server application that proxies the connection between the servers and Azure RMS. Then clean up the servers to point to Azure RMS through the connector. We recommend keeping your ADRMS servers up until the ADRMS reports indicate that all your users have successfully been redirected to the Azure RMS service in order to provide a smooth transition for your users. For more information about RMS, please see our other videos at youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors. At Synergy Advisors, we design and deploy RMS architectures for enterprise-level customers. If you are interested in learning how RMS can help you solve your information protection needs, visit our webpage at synergyadvisors.biz. We also post a monthly newsletter filled with the latest updates across the Microsoft Identity and Security products. If you would like to sign up, please email us at info at synergyadvisors.biz. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.